All right, hello everybody. This is Gigi again from Kauai Community College. In this video, I will be talking about surface area. And um, particularly, this is the third example in my surface area series. So um, watch the previous two before you watch this one. All right, so um, let's again, take a look at the area that we are considering. The equation of um, the equation of this um, graph here is x is equal to square root of nine minus x squared. That is a um, circle looking equation, right? So square root of nine minus um, x is equal to square root of y minus uh, nine minus y squared. That's this part right here of the circle, but we are only considering this part here. Okay, we're only going to be rot rotating that part right there, which means we are thinking dy because these are the horizontal uh, strips, right? So your fresh strips are, are horizontally laid out um, on the y axis right there. Now let's remind ourselves again what the equation is for um, surface area. That would be surface area is equal to the integral. In this case, we are going from C to D as common notations that we have been using of two pi multiplied by the function value, which in this case, we are talking about G of Y. We're talking about the equation in terms of Y multiplied by the length and the length would be one plus the derivative square and we are integrating with respect to y. And that's the equation of um, surface area that we need to apply for this problem. Now, in order to go ahead and use the derivative, I need to go and find it. So g of y in this case is square root of nine minus y squared. So then the derivative of y in terms of y is going to be one over two square root of nine minus y square multiplied by my inside derivative, which is negative two y, right? And then this two divided by this two, that will just be um, just negative y on the numerator. So I'm gonna go ahead and write g of the derivative is negative y over square root of nine minus y squared. All right, that's the thing that we are going to square up in our um, equation of um, surface area up here. So let's go back to our um, problem here and plug in the information that we know. Surface area is going to equal to, we are considering the area from um, one to two of two pi multiplied by the function value in this case is nine minus y squared multiplied by square root of, I'm gonna make this square root a little bit longer because my derivative is a fraction, um, one plus the derivative square. So that would give me neg negative y squared up, then that would just be y squared, right? y squared over square root square would just be nine minus y square here. And then we are integrating that with respect to y. All right, so a common denominator here, that's the trick that you probably have seen in the last problem. Common denominator is nine minus y square. And so I have here nine minus y square plus y square dy that is inside the square root. I still have square root of nine minus y square here. I still have two pi here and I am still integrating from, not from zero, but from um, one to two, from one to two. From one to two. Okay. So let's take a look here. Um, we have square root of 
uh, 9 minus y squared is going to go ahead and cancel with that denominator down here, right? Because both of them are inside the square root. So this is going to be gone. Plus y minus y is going to be gone. I'm left with just square root of 9. And square root of 9 is 3. How nice. So this really is a really, really simple um, integral. That's the integral from 1 to 2 of 3 times 2 pi is 6 pi dy, which equal to 6 pi y, 6 pi y evaluated from 1 to 2. Okay, so if we are going to um, plug in the 2, we will have 2 times 6 is 12, so that's 12 pi minus plug in the 1, that's 6 pi, so the total air surface area would be just 6 pi. And that is it for this problem. Nice.